get out because there are so many cars. So um, it's it's really cool to have everybody out here and, and to come check things out. Uh, and like Ryan said, I mean, I think all of us right now are in, uh, you know, I know I can speak personally for us, just kind of generally trying to sort out different things. There's a lot of things that are new, um, you know, that go along with the new car from an engine standpoint, chassis, brakes, you know, whatever. And um, so we're kind of trying to creep up on those different things and, and figure out how to get the most out of them, both for, for this track, but you know, in a general sense, for a lot of the places that we go. So, um, and I've been I've been pretty impressed, kind of right out of the box. We we ran a little bit earlier in the morning when it was it was cooler out, and you know, kind of right away we're knocking on the door of, you know, where we've qualified here for the last couple of years. So definitely the the new car has got a lot of downforce up through kind of two, three, three a turn six, all that kind of stuff. It's it's surprisingly fast. So um, that'll be something. That'll be cool, you know, as the track grip comes up and all that kind of stuff, especially on a race weekend, I think, when we come back. Excellent. Well, I know you didn't get quite as much time on track this morning as you'd hope, but you know the track real well. How, how's your first experience out here? Yeah, I mean, uh, I, was, I was so surprised how much grip this car has around the uh, around this place so early. You know, it's pretty early days for this car as far as development goes, but, um, yeah, like um, JR said, we're already knocking on the door of pole Brazil quicker than pole time last year, so... Uh, yeah, very, very happy. Obviously, I'd rather be out there right now instead of sitting watching. But um, uh, it's awesome to see how so many, so many people out here. And I was so surprised. Uh, um, it's great to see so much interest in the new car and Indy car. And, um, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. I think uh, uh, it's going to be good racing around here. Looking at it, changing the track up a little bit to make it make some passing zones. So uh, I think you can expect a, a good race here. Do you expect to be on track this afternoon, you think, or you're not sure yet? Yeah, I hope so. We've got, a, we've got another engine going in and, um, you know, hopefully get maybe an hour or a couple of hours in the afternoon and do some running around here. Excellent. All right, we'll open it up for some questions down here in front and then we'll take some fan questions as well. Do we have any questions down in front? Go ahead. Just, uh, and this is Freddie, the drivers. Uh, have you been able to work through your program today if you're allowed to talk about what the program is, what kind of progress you feel like you're making, uh, you know, towards the season? Uh, I mean, you know, I, I know we came into this with kind of an open slate of, you know, we, we didn't really know how the car was going to roll out. And so there, we have a list of things that we'd like to get through, um, you know, sort of trying to preempt what the car might be like. But um, I know our, our plan for the day is fairly sort of general. So, um, you know, we, we, I think we'd all like to be on track a little bit more, uh, a little bit more at this point. But, you know, with the car being as new as it is, end up kind of making some bigger changes to try to sort out what's going on with this so i know for us you know we don't have any particular schedule that we're on you know as the day goes on but we'll we'll like we're likely to be running quite a bit more in the afternoon what is the biggest difference that you have noticed between the old car and the new car Yeah, it's 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 uh, it, the car is just a lot lighter, n more nimble. On you know, it feels lighter on its feet, so it, it, it changes direction better. It has more downforce, more grip in it, and um, just everything from the new sh the new power plants, the new engines in the cars. The, you know, the way the, the power is delivered to the way this car handles, everything's different. I mean, it's 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 quite a bit different. So. It, you get this initial impression like you're going to be four seconds quicker, and you, you find out you're you're you know only a, a second quicker than you were at the same place last year. But um, it's uh, it's definitely a lot different, and it, there's a lot of learning going on from everybody involved, from the drivers, the teams, mechanics, engineers, cross sport. The only thing I'd add to that is carbon brakes are new for us this year on road courses, so that you know from a performance standpoint is different but also just from a feel standpoint um, you know how they how they come up to temperature all that kind of stuff is are things that you know, I think we're all kind of constantly trying to figure out uh, as we go along excellent Bradley <coughs> Todd where in the track do you, uh, does the turbo make the most difference in your driving style Uh, I mean, you know, I think probably in the slower corners is where you notice it the most. Uh, you know, the power delivery with the old car having a little bit, you know, a little bit more torque, but a little bit less kind of on the top end was fairly sort of linear. Whereas, you know, now with the turbos, you know, if you go through the corner kind of low in the RPM and, you know, as you say you're coming through turn 11 or whatever in second gear, 
um, that it all kind of kicks in all of a sudden. And so that's definitely changes, I think, in the end will change how you apply the power and your, how you set the car up for, uh, you know, limiting wheel spin on, you know, and traction and stuff like that. So I'd say the slower corners, corners more than anywhere else on the racetrack. Excellent. We have been joined by uh, two of our other testers today, EJ Viso and Rubens Barrichello, who are here testing today for KV Racing. So welcome to you guys. And, and we'll open it up, uh, if you don't mind sharing, Mike's. Uh, Rubens, this is your first time really racing here. Tony said he had you testing on an old game, but that had a different track configuration. So this is a, a totally new experience for you. Talk about the track a little bit. Um, well, first of all, it's a, it's a great pleasure for me to be here once again testing uh, Tony's car. Um, a new opportunity, obviously, everybody knows that uh, we're trying to, to get everything together. Um, you know, it's, it's my wish and I think it's, it's the team's wish as well. So hopefully we're going to be able to do something very soon. Um, I had a, a lot of fun this morning, obviously learning um, a different circuit. Yeah, we, we had fun just saying that, uh, you know, like 10 years ago I had a, a go at... Uh, uh, at Sonoma with, uh, with a game that it was a NASCAR game, but it, it looks pretty different, I tell you, driving the car. And uh, for me, when, the, when Tony, Tony took me around yesterday, when I got to turn one, it was such an uphill. Uh, you, ne you never imagined that on the TV. So physically very demanding and um, a lot of uh, good uh, medium and high speed corners, which feels, feels great. But obviously, it's uh, you know I've done my first uh, 25 laps in the morning. The times are actually okay, um, but getting used you know with things, uh, I need to to get the, the car in good shape for Tony tomorrow, so I cannot uh, just uh, crash. Uh, you know, maybe maybe just w uh, one wheel. He, he will cope with that. And, uh, but it's uh, right now just uh, just really learning the car and the and the circuit. Excellent. EJ, you've got quite a bit of experience here, but the first in the new car, how's it been for you this morning? Well, first of all, I'm excited and I'm, uh, I want to welcome Robin, Rubens in this uh, track and hopefully things are going to get set soon. Definitely is a good asset for, for all of us, especially in our team with uh, his big and his long experience uh, in the F1 and developing cars is going to be a good teammate. Uh, yes, the new car, it's, uh, I think it's good. I think it's very fast, uh, spe especially in the fast corners. I'm very excited how the car is uh, performing. There's still some little things to improve in the car that we believe uh, uh, that they're going to get addressed uh, soon. So I can't wait to come and race here in a, in a few months' time. Excellent. Jen. Jen? Right. For oh, our okay. veteran drivers that have been around here in the Indy cars, have you been able to use the same setup from the old cars to the new cars and for you Rubens how is it driving an Indy car compared to <coughs> Formula One start with you guys does uh, anything yeah. translate from the past setup well, just um, uh, yeah it's early days so you know that's really the only reference we have so you probably start with a very similar setup and then kind of evolve the car um, into what it needs to go fast with obviously more downforce, a different weight distribution uh, and so on so um, I, by the end of the test you sort of venture probably quite far away from the old setup to get this car to work. Well for me um, the, the differences are that uh, you know you have a, a heavier car on the uh, Indy car you have uh, same sort of a power but you have um, the turbo kicking in so it's um, it's not the same way you drive. Um, you have um, uh, the brakes, which are quite good. And, uh, I think it's a new thing for them. But um, in Formula One, we used to have the same type of brakes, so we're quite happy with that. Um, the steering wheel is heavier, uh, you know, for me, especially that I've been working the last 19 years with the power steering. Right now, you have to work um, a little bit harder, but it feels, you know, feels like a racing car. It's a lot of fun to drive. Excellent. We've just been joined by our, uh, our final tester of the day, Ryan Briscoe, who's here testing for, uh, for Team Penske today. Ryan, how's your morning been in the new car? Yeah, good. Um, getting a few laps in, and it's great to be back here in Infineon. You know, I love this track, and uh, um, the car's feeling really good straight away. I mean, we're pretty much matching, uh, you know, red tie qualifying times from last year. So um, the car's fast, and I expect, um, 
you know, as rubber goes down and we come back for the race with even softer tyres, you know, it's going to be a very fast race car around here. So um, it's exciting to drive. Uh, you know, we've got the, the turbo engines, which is, you know, different driving style compared to what we were used to. But it um, feels good going pretty smoothly so far. We're sort of just going through our, our list of setup changes we want to we wanna make. And we've got a pretty busy couple of days here to, you know, work on the car. So um, it's good to get started so far this morning and it's going pretty smoothly. Excellent. We had a question down in front. This question is for all of you. You're from different teams. How much do you share with each other since you're all under the same brand? And how much is proprietary? I think, I think as far as the engine development goes, there's a lot of crossover. And, uh, you know, the Ilmore guys from, from Chevy, they're... Uh, you know, transferring a lot of information as far as the mapping and, and so on across the teams. Um, so that's pretty transparent, especially at the end of the day. Um, as far as setups go, we, we don't share anything. I don't even share with power down there. No. <laughs> yeah, Brisco, you wish you had my setup. <laughs> Excellent. I can share with EJ, but not with Tony. <laughs> Seems fair. Uh, do we have another question? Yeah, for Rubens, th this car is much different from the Formula One car, but with h how easy or difficult is it to adapt to the car after what you've been driving for so long? Well, I've um, I kind of adapted quite well in uh, in Sebring. You know, it's a small track, uh, bumpy, and uh, some uh, some stuff was was different, and some was was fairly similar. And I was quite happy straight away, but then it was, you know, maybe 15 days. Now I came back and I'm, you know, sat on the car and I went for it. And my mind is still on the my past experiences. Not this is brand new. It take take you uh, again um, a good amount of laps for you to get used to to the brakes and the deliver of power and the the steering wheel. So I guess uh, it's going to be like that every, you know, every time I jump on on a car, it will be like this so i'll be in barber uh, again because i'm here they're gonna go there testing i'll be on that on the car again and i uh, i guess it's going to be pretty much the same you know the revs um I'm, I'm used to something different and today i was hitting the limiter all 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 morning and uh so it's uh, you know the brain needs to function uh with uh, peace and right now it's a bit of a rush you know to get used to things thanks so. Rubens, is a question for you as a, a driver with 19 years of winter testing in F1, and it's February, almost March, and you're in Northern California, and you're a rookie. Me, me. <clears throat> Can you give us a little, just tell us about your feelings about, not just about being a rookie here, but also about not being over in Europe or in Barcelona like you might be this time of year? Well, you know, I have, to be very honest, I've, uh, it's, a, it's a rebirth in a way, you know, it's a... I think in life you have to be happy with uh, with all the situations. You need to understand whenever you feel that you have a negative somewhere, you need to understand the positive on the other side. And I'm very thankful for the situation that I'm in. You know, after all the years uh, in Formula One, um, being very competitive uh, at all you know fronts and. Uh, Right now, I was given a chance to, to drive fast on, on a different series, uh, the one that I've watched for such a long time. I've, you know, questioned myself, how would I do if I was in that car? And right now, I'm, I'm here. So I'm very thankful for, the, for everything that is, is happening to me. How do the drivers feel about so few ovals this season, and are you looking forward to maybe getting more ovals next season? My wife loves it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's great that there's less ovals. <laughs> Anybody else want to chime in? We know Will is a little biased. <laughs> You know, IndyCar is all about the mix, right? It, to, to be a, a, a champion in the series, it's all about uh, being able to to master street courses, road courses, short ovals, and and the big ovals also. So I think I think a mix is important, that's for sure. But we we have to go to the right tracks, and what that is, we'll see. 
I have a question about the double file restart. Uh, on, uh, if I could get a show of hands on the count of three, which of you are in favor of it going away? One, two, three. Of the double file restart going away? Yeah. At some tracks, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mixed. Yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry, we got a few bees that have been visiting yeah. the bright yellow suit in the middle. Apologies to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Any thoughts on the double file restarts not coming back right now or not at all the tracks? I mean, I think, you know, they... Uh, proved to be exciting in some places last year. Um, you know, I, I personally don't have a problem with them everywhere. Um, you know, I think one of the things that's kind of a constant battle, you know, particularly in open wheel racing, we race on a lot of street courses, all that kind of stuff is, you know, creating passing and, and all this kind of stuff. You know, you don't, I don't, I don't, I mean, personally, as a driver, I don't want to be racing in an event that's just processional from start to end and no yellow flags and nothing going on. You know, I don't think that's exciting, and I don't think any of you guys would either. So, um, you know, I think that's just kind of a... I know it's something with the new race director this year, Bo Barfield, that he's aware of, and, um, you know, I think he's, he's taken some steps to, you know, figure out where the double-file restarts really should be and where they shouldn't um, after last year, you know, having that be a, a, a bigger issue at some places than others, but um, you know, I can't say I can't say personally that I think you know, that they're, that uh, for every track we should not have them or, or have them. I think it's very dependent on where we go and there's a well, for the double file restarts, there's yeah, there's we're not going to have them at Indy, Texas and Fontana. So they, it's sort of up for discussion amongst drivers and teams and, and that kind of stuff while trying to keep the show, you know, good and, and exciting. At the Indy Summit, Randy Bernard said he wants to have 20 races next year. Do you have any preferences where you would like to go that's not on the schedule now? Well, yeah. We'd love to go back to Surfers Surfing, Paradise yeah. at some point. That would be awesome. Everybody loves going there, loves the racetrack, loves the fans. We're trying to put a race together in Fort Lauderdale, in my hometown. Um, I think that, that, if it's done right, could be a, a really big part of the IndyCar series. So we're trying very hard to make it happen. But um, that and what else was there? We should go to Road America. Road, oh, yeah, Road America.